Sudan has long been affected by conflict. More than 40 years of civil war has killed 1.5 million people. The legal system in Sudan is the Islamic law. Stunning and flogging are still legal punishments here. Traveling to Sudan is highly discouraged by many Western governments. As a woman traveling solo in an Islamic country, I must act and dress as Sudanese women do here. The civil war that has been going on in Sudan on and off for the past 40 years has been devastating. The president of the country has two warrants for crimes against humanity. This nation is among the list of the countries that have sponsored terrorism. Despite its reputation, Sudan is one of the most diverse countries in Africa and has a unique archaeological treasure that not many people know about. I start my adventure in Khartoum, the capital heading north, crossing the desert with my guy Walid, who assures me that Sudan is not dangerous. This is a media, just a media and political. In the world, no political, no media, no nothing, just people love, just people say hello. After a five hours on a cars-free road that's surrounded by a hostile terrain, we arrive in Hebel Barkat, a sacred mountain for Nubians and Egyptians alike. Egyptians uh, in um, 1400 BC, the Hotmuz Sert came until here and uh, he took Kerima as a uh, southern limit of his kingdom. Beautiful temples and palaces were built on the foot of this mountain. Now there are only the remains. From the top of this massive rock you can see the Nile and some pyramids in the horizon. An hour from here we find the famous Nuri pyramids. Uh, we're here at Nuri. This is one of the uh, cemetery, royal cemeteries of Sudan where the pharaohs who ruled Egypt at one time as well as Nubia uh, had their tombs. To get to the most legendary archaeological treasure of Sudan we must cross the desert again and we get caught up in the middle of a sandstorm. This highway has history. The government of Sudan invited Osama bin Laden in the 90s in here, and the road that is behind me was built by him. He put here, but not for Sudan. We continue on the bin Laden road until Meroe. Dozens of ancient pyramids dot the sand dunes. In the mid 6th century before Christ, Meroe became the central city of the Nubian dynasty the black pharaohs who ruled from Answan in the southern Egypt to present-day Khartoum. And following the Egyptian style, they built their mortuary uh, monuments to look like pyramids, but they're not the same as the Egyptian pyramids. You can see they're a lot steeper. Uh -huh. And some of them, they don't have mortuary temples. They just have the uh, burial under the ground. I hop on a camel and begin exploring. These are my unexpected companions. The pyramids of Egypt are bigger, more famous, and definitely more visited. But in this isolated area, over 200 pyramids have been discovered. A lost ancient city that you can explore for hours without running into another tourist. my adventure back in the capital of Sudan where every Friday in a cemetery takes place the dance of the dervishes and here followers of Sufism a spiritual mystical branch of Islam gather <laughs> the Sudanese has given its African flavor to Sufism more than mystical this feels like a huge party between drums and colorful outfits, these believers start spinning as if they are in trance, while others chant and dance. Sudan is a combination of the extraordinary, the unexpected and the sublime. A country with tremendous potential and welcoming people that contrast with its armed conflict and the violation of human rights committed by its government. Despite its reputation, I never fell in danger while traveling in Sudan.